G'day guys. So I've been getting a couple of questions about how to actually use the blackjack tracker that I made. Um, and so I figured I'd just make a video of me showing how it actually works. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up on my second monitor. I'm just going to show you guys so you can see what I do. I'm just going to be playing a couple games and I'll be tracking it and just talking about what happens and what I'm thinking when I do it. So you guys can sort of understand the process and how you can use it yourself to make some money. So when we start the one thing we need to look for is we need to look for a game that is at a start of a shoe. So we don't want to come in and come in halfway through because then we don't know what cards have been dealt yet and essentially we're just playing blind. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look around for a little bit, see if I can't find a game that's you know halfway through a shoe and looks like it's about to finish. And then generally when they draw the card that signifies the end of the shoe, so this guy you can see... You know, he's got he's got pretty much most of his shoe dealt. So I might just sit down. I'm not going to place a bet, but I'll sit down and we'll have a look. I know this is a $50 table, so I'm not going to worry about that. But like I said, I'm just going to look around, find a good game. And when I do, then I'll come back and I'll let you guys know. And there it is. Beautiful. So that's exactly what we were looking for. That means the next shoe is going to start now. So it doesn't matter if we miss the first couple hands. Hopefully if a seat frees up, I'll jump on it. But if we miss the first couple, it's probably advantageous for us because it means we can count the cards without actually having to bet. So I'm just going to sit back, relax for a little bit, wait till this hand finishes, and then hopefully we'll get a seat. Beautiful, there's our seat. <clears throat> Perfect, nice and far on the left hand side, that's how I like it because it gives us a lot of time to react. So I'm just going to place $10, the minimum bet, to start us off. And we're going to make sure that in the meantime we have our program set up the correct way. So the main thing to look for is we want this number of decks set right. So for these Azura games, they're at 8 decks. So that's what I've got selected. We're in the, in the seat, we're waiting for her to finish doing the shuffles. Okay. So, once she starts dealing the first cards, I'm just going to click the correct value in the count tracker. I'm just going to keep adding them up, so here we go. Queen, nine, nine, okay. Two, six, five, deck, ace. We got the 20, so of course I'm definitely going to stand seat. We got the soft 20, stand no matter what the dealer's got. So that's a great start for us. She's dealt an ace and a six to those guys that have hit. So we're just going to make sure that we keep track of those. He gets the 10, so I'm going to add that to the count. Stands on the 20. I'm going to stand on the 20. And stand. Beautiful. That's exactly what we love to see. So... I show the 10, we're going to add that to the count. The count's now getting negative, which isn't what we'd like. We'd like to see a lot of low cards come out. So, when she deals the next hand, I'm just going to start entering it into the tracker. King two six six, King two six six, eight. So we've got a sixteen against the dealer's five, sixteen against the dealer's five. That's a stand. Doubles down. He gets the king. Stand. Dealer shows the ten and twenty. Unfortunate. 
So we're still hovering at around an even count. So that's fine. I'm just going to keep putting the money down. We're not unfavorable and we're not favorable yet. So that's, that's fine. We're just going to keep watching. The more players we have is arguably better because it means we can get more information in a shorter amount of time. We can use that information in our current hand rather than, you know, having to deal six hands and get the same amount of cards as one hand. So here we go. Nine, three, eight, eight. Three, and then king, seven, six, ace. King, seven, six, ace. So we got the 19 against the three. Soft 19 against the three is a stand. Dealer shows the 13, 22, beautiful. Love to see it. So the count is still slightly negative. That's fine, we're still hovering around even. A lot of people are leaving the table. Guess that's what happens when they're unlucky. But here we go, we're dealing the next one. Three, five, two, ace. Ace. Ten, ten, eight, seven. Okay, so we've got a ten against the dealer's nine. Ten against the dealer's nine. That's a double. So we're going to double here. He gets two tens. Nines. Ten against the dealer's nine. That's still a double. He pulls a two. We're going to double. Boom! There we go. There's our 20. Dealer shows the 19. Look at that. Look at that. And that's how you do it. That's how this strategy works. Is it, it manages to know what's sort of left in the deck so it knows how likely the next ones are to come out. And even though it might not be optimal, even though it does definitely vary from the optimal, it might actually be optimal for that count. And definitely works for me. So as you can see, we started we started with 80. We've got the negative count, so I'm not actually going to increase my bet here. I'm just going to keep going. We've got 3, 10, 4, 4, 7, 10 on the dealer's side, ace, ace, queen, ace. Wow, that's a lot of queen, queen, 10, jack. That's impressive. That's that's very impressive. That's lots of tens and aces. Of course, you're going to split the aces. That's a very sensible decision. Too many. 14 against the dealer's 10 is we hit. So he's going to stand. We're going to hit. Hopefully, because we pulled out a lot of the high cards, we'll just get nice, something nice and low. Hit. Eighteen, and we stand. We add that one to our hand. Dealer shows the sixteen. Beautiful. Twenty-six. Perfect. So you can see we're slowly racking it up. Slowly racking it up. We've still got that negative count, so I'm not increasing the bet. I'm just going to keep it at the minimum bet and just keep playing. Hopefully, if we get lucky, either next shoe or next hand, we'll start to see it shift a little bit. But you can see now the strategy does optimize for having less tens in the deck. So two tens, seven, ten. Two tens, seven, ten. Two, ten, eight, two. 10, 10, 10, 8, 2, 10, 10. Dealer got the 8. We've got a 20. So, of course, we're standing with a 20, but we're just going to keep tracking. 3, 3, that's all we want. We want to see some of these low cards starting to come out. He gets the 9. We're going to stand. 
He gets the two, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a lot of these low cards to come out. Sandra shows, shows 19. Beautiful. So we were the only ones to win that. Still running it up slowly. We're still we're still got the negative count, so I'm keeping it the minimum bet. So I hope you can guys can sort of see how this works, you know what I mean? How it optimizes the strategy for the counts. I've got to be quiet while I'm focusing here. 4, 9, 7, 10, 5, 7, 10, 5. And then 3, 4, 4, 8, 9, 3, 4, 4, 8, 9, 10, 3. And the dealer has the 2. We got another 20. That's fucking beautiful. You got to be really happy with that. So of course we're going to stand, but we're going to keep following the count. Hopefully, and we see a lot of the small cards come out. So we can see that, you know, our count is starting to adjust a little bit, but as more of these high ones come out, it's going to keep dropping. We all stand. He gets the six. He gets the nine. Dealer shows 12. And perfect. And then goes to the 17. So our true count's starting to come better. It's gone from the one point, negative 1 1.5 to now negative 0.9. So if we get a good hand, a good couple of hands, we might get lucky here. But we can see that the shuffle is probably going to come up soon. Hence why the guy behind her is now shuffling the deck. Ace, 10, jack. So ace, jack, 3, 10, 10, 10, 10. So we got a 14 against the dealer's 10. That's really not great. He pulls a 5. Hits on the 13, pulls the 10. He splits the 10s. Wow. That's interesting. You went from 20 to a 13 and a 12. Sounds clever. But... 9, what's he doing on the 12? the ace four six four that's that's okay we're starting to see the count's very that's negative four. we're gonna have to hit on the 14 oh we get the 20 21 ah unfortunate unfortunate so we can see the count at this point's really negative it's gone back to the negative 1.5 so i'm actually just going to sit this hand out watch how it goes if it goes more negative we're going to think about just waiting it out a little bit and hopefully just we're seeing the count start to come good again so i'm just going to focus on tracking this one here Ten, five, two, five against the dealer's five. He hits on the eleven. Hits on thirteen. So this is great. This is the true count starting to come good again. Seven seventeen. It's not good. We want we want the low cards to come out. There we are. Okay. So we'll see how the dealer goes. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-five. Beautiful. Okay, so our count has improved, so I'm going to sit this one in. We're not far off a new shoe. Looks like they're swapping out the dealer. Hopefully new dealer, new luck. Cross our fingers. Oh, 
has to adjust the chair for some reason. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Andy, going to be your uh, dealer for now. How is everyone doing? I hope you had a great time. My colleague left us some equipment that are going to have an amazing time together as Let's well. Let's do this. First, I'm just uh, making sure that everything is optimal and it looks like indeed it is. Thank you for your patience. Closing bus, best of luck. That's okay, Andy. If you're going to give me a 10, I don't mind. That's not great, Andy. If you can give me better than a 2. What is your next decision? So 19, 12 hit. Too many. And 13 hit. Too many. The number 4 compliments for your mixer. 18 cent, 19 cent, 12. What 12, you got a hit. 16. What is your next Against story? the dealers. 9 is with stand. Sixteen against the nine we see on the table here. Fifteen. Seven. Like and the dealer shows the nineteen. Unfortunate. So, like I was saying, if if you're not sure how to actually play, we can actually type in here sixteen, and then the dealer's up card is a nine, and then find action, and it actually tells us that it's a stand. So. You know, if you if you can't read the table or you're struggling to find where you're actually up to, you can always just type it into here and it will help you out. So we're still up. We're still up. If I can get to a balance of, you know, $200, make double my money, then I think I'll call the video there because I think that'll be proof enough that this program really does work. We have eight on dealer's hand. The insurance offer is now open. He's got the offer for insurance. So that would be normally be a good idea if the count was really high. So we're not going to take it though. Dealer shows. It is a blackjack, unfortunately. Best of luck in the following round. That's okay. There's nothing we can do about against blackjacks, but the bats are open. Thank you. We can, we can just, you know, keep in mind, but there's only so much we can do. So it looks like this is probably going to be one of the last hands of the shoe. So I'm not too concerned about tracking accurately anymore. Because at this point, there's not too much more information to be gleaned from the actual cards themselves. Once he pulls that last hand, it's not really anything we can do. We get the blackjack though, so that's beautiful. Thank you, Andy. Stand, 15 stand, and the lovely blackjack on stand number six. Congrats. Ah, thank you, my friend. Seven, you gotta love when you have a nice dealer. Eight. He pulls the 10. Seven, dealer shows a 10. 14. Draws the 3. And 17. Congratulations to all the winning hands. A special compliments for that beautiful blackjack. Ah, thank because you very much. Best of luck in the following round. So, one more. See, we're slowly racking up the profit here, slowly but surely. If if we manage to get a true count where the numbers are high, then that's when we can actually start to rack up the profit a little bit faster because, you know, we could increase to 15. If the count went, you know, to 2 or 3, that's when we could increase it to, you know, 20. There, there is the cutting card. So this is our last hand. This is our most informed hand that we can have. The 6, 7, 7, 3. Dealer has the ace. And we have the three, eight, ten, seven, three, ten, jack. We're not going to take the insurance because the account's about even. Great news. Not the blackjack. That's what we love to hear. So, but with the 17 against the ace, it is a stand, especially when he starts pulling out these. What is your choice? Hit. Eight. So there's actually no point in me really recording anymore because we know we're going to stand already. So we might as well just relax, 
Watch how this one plays out. And start to set up for the next one. We stand. We can reset the shoe. And we just pray that he doesn't have an 18, 19 or 20. He has the 16 soft, get like a 2. 18, unfortunate. I said the 2, but I didn't really mean it. I meant an ace. <laughs> Beautiful. So that was the last one of that. I'm going to place the bet to get into the next shoe preemptively. But we're going to have to wait for him to swap it out. So it is going to take a little bit. We're still at this point, I think I started with about $80. So at this point, we're still up a bit. But hopefully this shoe, we can actually do a little bit better. If we're lucky, we get a shoe with a positive count and can actually start making some real money. But... You never know. This is this is gambling. I can't I can't guarantee that this this program will make you win every single time. There's always you know a matter of probability and odds and randomness to it. But from what I've seen, it so seems to be managing to do a decent return. So here we go. Let's start the tracking of the new shoe. Nine, ten, 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 ten on the dealer's hand. Then we have ten, nine, five, five, eight, nine. So we have the 18, that's fine. He hits, gets a 6. Five. Nine. Going to stand on an 18, of course. And he's going to stand on the 19. Stand on 19. What is your decision? Dealer shows. Dealer shows a three. That's nice. Ah, uh, 21. Unfortunate. That's all right, though. You can see now we're actually starting. We've got a true count of 0.1. So it's not high enough to warrant a increased bet just yet. But it's definitely worth, you know, thinking about it after the after the results of this hand. So no more bets. Good luck. We have four on dealer hand. And then nine, four, three, four, three, four. Number one, four. So we've got a 17. Of course, we stand against the dealer's four. That's lovely. Everyone stands. An eight. And busts. Beautiful. So it seems like our true count's trending up a little bit. So I'm actually going to increase just a little bit, just a few dollars, just to see how we go. You can see we're up 0.2. So the bet multiplier has gone to 1.1. So we probably should increase up to an 11. And then 10, 8, 9, 4, 8, 10, 8, 9, 4, 8, 6. We have an 11 against the dealers too. This is a very clear double. He gets a 3. That's great. Keep raising that count. Keep bringing that count up. That's exactly what we love to see. We're going to double the 11. We get the four. He shows a soft 13. 13. 15. Come on, one more. Monkey. There we go. That's exactly what we love to see. So he got the 10, 10, 2, and the ace. So that's exactly what we love to see. We can see the bet multiplier is now at 1.3. So I'm going to up, up and increase to 1.3. Hopefully, if we're lucky... We can keep increasing this multiplier, keep increasing our bet, keep making some money. 
No more baths. Good luck. Five, four, two, five, seven, seven, two, five, seven, seven, eight, four, two, five, two, four, two, five, two, nine, queen, six, six, and a three for the dealer. So we have a 17 against the dealer's three. So of course we're going to stand. He gets a three. We're looking at the true count. It is skyrocketing. So this is what we love to see. We can see the bet multiplier now is at 1.9, so we should be nearly placing a $20 bet. What is your call now? Eight. This is incredible. The true count's gone all the way up to 2.4. Pulls out a seven. On 14, 16, stand and 17. What would you like to do? We're gonna stand. Stand. 14. What is your decision? Stand. Be our show. 13. 13. And the 20. Unfortunate. Now that's all right because we have a look and we can see our bet multiplier is at 1.9. So I'm actually gonna increase. I'm not gonna go quite as high as a 1.9. I'm gonna do a 1.5. Um, we'll do a 1.6, just a little bit high. It's, this is where it's sort of up to you guys. You can, you can sort of interpret just a little bit from the games, a little bit from what this is telling you and sort of, you know, go from there. So I'm going to fill these out. We get the nine, nine, three, ten, ten, nine, ace, six, ten, six, ace, ten, six, ten, ten. Number one, four, what is your so we have a 13 against the dealers. Four, 13 against a four is a stand. So he pulls the nine. Number two, my compliments for your color fair. 12, what is your choice? Split the sixes. He splits the sixes. On the first box, 16. On the second one, 16. So, first box, 16. Your decision. On the second one, 16, what is your choice? Stand, 19 stand and 9, what is your call? Double down, one card only. 10, 20, what would you like 20. To stand on 20 so we're going to hit on the 13 against the 4. Hit. Sorry, I should have stood. That was, that was a lucky decision. That was a lucky decision. Stand on 18, 19. What is your choice? Stand. The dealer shows. 9. And eight. Oof. So that was a lucky, lucky decision. Um, I mean, I chose definitely wrong, but I'm lucky that I did. So we can see our bet multiplier is still at 1.7. So I'm just going to be on 1.5 because I feel like that's a reasonable amount. I might just chuck in that 1 per 7, because then we get down to 115, a nice even number. Ending with a 5. It's not actually even, but you no guys know what I mean. He's got a 13 against the dealer's 6. That is a definite stand this time. I'm not accidentally going to hit hit. Definitely going to stand. We've got such a high count here that it's almost certain he's going to draw 2 and then draw a 10 for an 18. A 3. Okay. 16. Bust. Beautiful. So that's what we love to see. Our true count is going through the roof. So I'm definitely going to double my bet here. And as you can see, this is where the real money will start to come in. So if we're lucky and the count stays high and we got our seat, we can really start to make some good coin here. No more bets. Good luck. We have two on dealer's hand. So, two on dealer's hand. The 13, what is your decision? Hit. 
Hence the dealers too, we have a soft 13, that is a double. So he hits, he got the ace, he gets a four. Double down, one card only. Fourteen and thirteen. What would you like to do? Double down on eleven, one card only. Sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Double. Thirteen. What is going to be your choice? Double down, one card only. Oh! Ho! Double Love to see Double it. Down on 8, 18, one card only. Eighteen. So the dealer now shows. Twelve. Dealer busts. Look at that. This is what I'm saying. This is where the real money is made. When it, well, I said I would nearly would aim for 200 and then I'll call the video there, but we'll see how we go. If, if the count stays high like this, I'm just going to keep playing. We've still got a count of 2.6, so... The bats are open. Thank you. Our bet multiplier is now at 2.0. No more bats. Good luck. 10, 10, 3, 4, 6, ace. Dealer gets the 10. So 10, ace, 9, 10, ace, 9, 10, 5, ace, 4, 10, 5, ace, 4. Okay, so we have a soft 17 against the dealer's 10. That's a hit. What is your choice on Thursday? Hit. 21, great choice. 8. 9, what is going to be your call? Soft 17 against 10. That's a hit still. Hit. Against the 10. Finally, what is your next call? So we're going to hit the soft 17. What would you like to do? Hit. Boom. It's what you love to see. So like I said, when the count starts to get high like this, this is when the program really starts to get into, a, get into effect. This is where the real money begins to be made. 18, look at that. So I'm going to track those two of the dealers, the 10, the 3 that got dealt there. <coughs> we've still got the bet multiplier of two. So we've actually hit our target of 200 bucks. Like I said, I'd finish the video at 200, but just because our count's so high and it's going so well, I'm going to do a couple more. You can see we're nearly at the end of the shoe here. But I hope that you guys can actually see how this program works and, you know, how you can use it to actually make a bit of coin. So we have 668, ace 10, 5, 6, 7, 10, 4, 8, 2, 4, 8, 2, and a queen, and the dealer has the 9. So we've got a 7 against the dealer's 9. That's just a hit. So he gets the 10 there. <coughs> Pulls a 6. So I'm going to... I'm going to hit on my seven. The number six, seven. What would you like to do here? Hit. Pull the ten for a seventeen, and we now stand. Stand and sixteen. What is going to be your choice? Hit. Hit the ten. There's too many. He gets the ten. Dealer shows the nineteen. Unfortunate. So our bet multiplier has come down a little bit. I'm still going to do it at 20. See if we can't recoup a little bit of those losses. But at this point, you can see that, you know, you lose some, you win some, but the general trend with this program is up. Even with these losses, I'm still sitting at, you know, double my original investment. So we have an 8 against the dealer's 10. That's just a hit. 
Ah, I missed the 10 there, he gets the 7. So I'm going to hit the 8, hopefully we get a 10, or an ace would be amazing, 18, we're going to stand on the 18. Too many, 20, I thought he would. That's what happens when the count's really high. The dealer more than likely has a 10 hiding underneath there. That's all right though, we're gonna keep, we can still see our bet multipliers come down a little bit. I'm gonna do another 20 just to see if we can't recoup a little bit of those losses. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna go back down to the 10s, wait till we start getting a little bit more. We can see it's probably near the end of the shoe here. So I might as well just see out the end of the shoe for this video. Three, two, Jack, six, ace, four, eight, ace, four, eight. Dealer has the four, we have a ten, so this is a double. Twenty-one, great double down, nine, what is your choice? Double down, one card only. 19, 13, 16, 16, lovely, lovely. We're going to double this one, and hopefully this will be a good way to end the video. Boom, we get the 10. That's all we love to see. Splitting the 8s. Eight he shows the 6. 16, 26, look at that. <clears throat> so there we are guys. We end up finishing with a $200 balance, like I said anyway. But hopefully that you guys can see the advantage of the system, see how it actually works now. And if you want to start using it for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description where you can download it from my website. It does cost $49.99, but I think that's pretty fair. It took me months and months to develop this one. It's I had to do lots of training for the genetic algorithms. Or, you know, it, it wasn't just an, a one-night project for me. So if you actually look at the hourly rate of what I'm getting paid for it, it definitely doesn't make sense to be selling it at that price it's it's not worth it but if you guys are going to go use it to make yourselves 200 bucks like i just did then i think that's a fair asking price but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that you guys can use this program if you do let me know in the comments down below it's it, it'd make my day just to know that you guys would be able to make some money off it as well but other than that i wish you all i wish you guys the best of luck